Hey, I'll tell you what, Jake, here's what we're going to talk about. And he'd be like slapping my leg and my arm and my face. <laughs> he didn't slap my face. <laughs> I had to bring some of my old slides back from the dead, as I, I talked about. Like my mm -hmm. a, a 2016 talk gave that recently because it was explicitly requested, um, and some of my slides were broken. Oh no! I had like a, a sort of a thing in SVG that span around, like and a spinner, like a spinner. It was a cog spinning around, but it was spinning around, uh, 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 and now it was just sort of going for a, a, a wander around the page. Um, uh, so like the, the origin of the rotation had changed. The origin of the rotation had changed. And Why is, did we break the web? Um, yes. Well, in my case, yes. Yes, we did. Uh, it turns out I didn't matter enough. I didn't <laughs> register enough on the statistics to, to worry about. Um, but I was relying on technically a bug in Chrome. So you are to blame. I kind of. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know if I knew I was relying on a bug in Chrome at the time. But it's still my. It's still my ignorance. I suppose. Fine. Fine. It's my. Fine. Fine. Okay. Um, and so, if you've got an HTML element, mm -hmm. and you spin it around mm -hmm. with a transform origin of, well, I guess the default, right? 50, 50. 50, 50. Mm -hmm. It kind of spins around the. We should be complete here. The fifty percent. So the in the middle. The, by default, the transform origin is in the middle of the. Border box? I think element? it's the painted area, maybe. Is that um, a thing that exists? As like. Yeah, no, yes, no. I, I would say yes, border no. box. Border box. OK. But I'm not sure. <sighs> Tweet at us if know. you know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to go and look that up. Um, and whereas in SVG, the, um, the default transform origin, I think, is 0, 0. <laughs> but, but this is where it starts getting weird. Is the, the transform origin sort of differs from, like, so if you do, it, it's 0, 0, but not to the element. It's to the SVG element. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I think, yes, now that you say that, that might be true. But if you did transform origin 50%, 50%, Chrome would put it in the middle of the painted element, like the, the, the individual the, SVG, L, individual. Yes. Thing, not the SVG view box. So thing. if you wanted the, the cog to spin around the center, transform origin 50%, 50%, rotate, we'll rotate. Do the thing you'd expect. OK. And everything works. Um, what if I do transform origin 0, 0? Oh, that would be the top left of the SVG. Yeah, it was a bit weird. Like percent behave differently uh, to 0%? I don't know. <laughs> OK, I mean, it's, I, it's, it's apparently not working so that, now anyway yeah. anymore. So and it could be that my memory's off there, because I say that that is in the past. Mm -hmm. Chrome fixed itself, <laughs> thanks Chrome, uh, to behave like Firefox was behaving, which was according to the spec. Like the transform origin is always the SVG, top left of the SVG element, uh, the parent SVG So that element. makes me, it reinforces the whole notion that SVG elements have this coordinate system. Yes. That you work on, and every element works relative to that coordinate system. Yes. OK. Exactly that. Um, and the fix is this relatively new CSS property called transform box. Mm -hmm. And that takes <laughs> that was a very mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Transform box. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to do the rest of the episode <laughs> in Mickey Mouse voice. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Um, and the values it has is border box. Fill box and view box. So the idea is okay. Like view box. Is this a property on a SV? It's SV. It's it's CSS. So it's on all elements. Okay. Okay. Um, including. What do you HTML. call the things inside an SVG element? Are uh, they SVG elements? <laughs> because it, well, we call a paragraph an HTML element, and that's. No, but, but how do we distinguish between a SVG, the, the boundary towards Ooh. an SVG thing, and the things that you can use inside Let's SVG? Uh, let's go for SVG root or okay. HTML root. Mm -hmm. So we have SVG elements that are inside an SVG root. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Uh, let's yeah. OK, OK, OK. okay. Um, yeah, so the, the, the default for SVG is view box. Yes. Which is essentially the parent yes. view, SVG view. Um, whereas the default for HTML is, well, I thought it was fillbox, but now you've got me thinking. Um, one of the two. It's either border box or fillbox. Fill I, I, I didn't know that fillbox is a thing, so you might very well be right. I didn't know that we ever had the notion of the region that is painted as something that you can work on. Yeah, I, I, but I am thinking it's borderbox now, because I think it might be the same as what's created by um, 
uh, bounding client rect. Do we have know? fill box somewhere else? Um, I think so. We, you know, we do. We do have it for I not think for point, box site. We have a pointer events. I think. Huh. Pointer events in SVG. So basically, fill box could differ from the border box with like masks, things escaping outside, or things. So I, I think you're right, actually. I think HTML probably uses border box because um, so pointer events in SVG, if you have a hover, you can have the hover be to the painted area. And that, I mean, so if there's a hole make, in the middle. For pointer events makes sense because you yeah. want to make it to the visual representation of the element, right? Well, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So this, this was a huge problem in Flash. Uh, in oh, the olden days. Again. Yeah, <laughs> tales from my days as a Flash developer. A lot of people would make this mistake where they would have a, a button, uh, and the, the thing they defined as a button would be the button text. Oh. And that meant the hover area you could was only the click text. Yeah, yeah, and if it was a, a really thin font, it was really difficult to yeah, click on. Like, and I remember those buggy Flash where you had like. So it was pointer events. In uh, SVG, you can define it as being the the border box, like essentially the sort of yeah. layout box uh, or the painted area. So just, just, just so. quick question: Would outline be part of the paint the fill box? Ooh, probably not, because it's outside the border box. Oh, it would be in it would be in the fill box. Uh, yeah, but it, so outline um, would be part of the fill box. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. I think. Yeah, maybe. Think. <laughs> I'm just gonna give up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so so is this? Um, so now you have control over how this works. Yes. So if you want but to, Chrome change its default, which exactly. broke your thing. Yes. But now that's supported. Uh, you know, transform box is supported in Safari, in Firefox, and in Chrome. Uh, not Edge, unfortunately. Yeah. So if you want to spin around the center of something, so I used to always my hack was to you, you use transforms to get the the thing back into 0, 0, do the rotation, and then, and then do the reverse, yeah. really, which is a pain. Um, someone on Twitter came up with a much better way, uh, Fabian Gundel. Because you can have SVG in SVG, and it, it's its own view box then. Yeah, so you can basically just do a relative coordinate system. So you do a relative coordinate system, rotate the thing inside, and then the extra transforms on the thing outside. Problem solved. There's, there's it all fixed. <laughs> 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 I like that. It's, that's, it's that's Yeah, good. I mean, that's. Probably not even that bad of a solution. It looks a bit icky in the markup, I guess, mm. but um, really solves the problem. Yeah, well done. Really solves the problem. But some of them just don't get the hint. So I'm not a small talker. I hate it. Right. Both in, in Uber or on the massage hill, I just go like, hmm, yeah, get the hint. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, and yeah, then, and just most, drive. Mo most slave. <laughs> most of them do. Most of them are like, come on. Or, or, or barbershop, also very talkative. I'm like, hmm.